<laughs> I'm really stoked about this one because uh, so I emailed Danielle Applestone, the CEO of Bantam Tools. Why did I do that? Because we just did an interview with her um, with Adafruit and uh, I got really excited about it because Danielle uh, is the CEO, as I mentioned, of Bantam Tools, which is this desktop PC BIM mill. It is a machine that is designed to help you prototype PCBs um, and other things, but uh, especially PCBs. Um, it has an incredible amount of uh, resolution, both vertically, like in the z-axis, so you can even mill PCBs on flexible PCB substrate, which is kind of incredible. But also you can do all kinds of other things, and we'll look at some like arty stuff that people have made with it too. So. Uh, you can go to bantamtools.com to check out what exactly this is and why I got so stoked on it. There's a couple different, oh, there's just one version right now. <laughs> but you might know these as previously they were known as the other mill and they were part of other labs uh, in the organ factory in San Francisco. And now they're based in Berkeley. So I emailed her and I was like, hey, can I like, come over sometime and like prototype some stuff? And she was like, sure. And I was like, whoa. And then uh, schedules didn't line up and she was like, hey, do you want to just like borrow one? And I was like, double woe. And so it's happening and it's real and I'm really excited. <laughs> Let's look at a little bit more about the website before we get to the unboxing, okay? Um, they have a bunch of really great in-depth info on how to actually get started with it. I won't bore you too much, uh, but just to look at this, they've got their design considerations. So, you know, just like you would send um, your PCB off design off to a, a fab house, you have the same kind of design considerations mapped out for you here, uh, where you know you have to have certain types of uh, requirements so that it'll actually come out properly. Um, they also link you to this SparkFun PCB Basics tutorial, which is kind of great. Um, they also have, SparkFun has also made a really good intro to Eagle in like multiple parts. And Eagle is what I'm going to be using. Although there are a few other favorites in the community, like KiCad, which is free and open source. Um, there you have example projects, including like a few that will help you get started, like an aluminum ring that you can mill out, but also some more like advanced and cool ones, like this beautiful uh, magnetic clock made by Ben Light. Look at that, it's amazing. Uh, this two little like magnet beads rotate around and I'm really stoked on this one, the 8-bit capacitive synth. Uh, that looks amazing. <laughs> um, yeah. Plus uh, there's another musical based one by Eddie Serratos. Um, yeah, so let's get to the unboxing because I'm really impatient. <laughs> this has been sitting in the office since like two afternoons ago and I haven't had a chance yet to mess with it. Oh yeah, here, one final thing. You can often get like these PCB rulers from various PCB manufacturing places. This one's from Seed Studio. It gives you all this cool, uh, you know, info on, you know, here's what an SOD123 uh, footprint looks like. Here's the different types of like uh, chip footprints and different, uh, widths of holes and vias and stuff. Um, you know, what's a 1206 LED or resistor really, you know, how big is it? Uh, super cool. So if you're interested in like having a visual reference, that's a pretty popular thing for people to make. And you can probably get one for free, for example, from one of your uh, manufacturing houses if you want. Okay, 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 where's my knife? Uh, did I pull, oh, there we go, okay. <laughs> Uh, so it comes with this big box and this little one that says fine dust collection system on it. That's good. I don't want to be breathing in copper dust or fiberglass, especially not fiberglass. I mean, especially not either of them, but uh, maybe I should have put this on the floor first. <laughs> no, this is fun. I think it'll be fine. It's not actually that big. Like if I tilt this down, you know, it's yay big, which is like a couple of my heads. <laughs> uh, yeah. If we can just sort of rip this. Rawr. Maybe I should have cut it. Maybe I should have brought a chair in here. Fancy that. Then I could have, like, just gotten on top of it and stuff. Oh boy.
There we go. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, I'm gonna set this on the floor so I can yank the thing out, uh, and then we'll take a look at it. Ooh. Okay, so the first two things that I see are oh, this big cardboard thingy sitting on top of everything. And it contains an accessory kit and a cardboard box, which I imagine has some stuff in it. Uh, the person who uh, gave this to me at the office, Kim, uh, mentioned that she had thrown in a couple of extra like end mill bits and stuff, which is probably good because I might might break something. Hopefully it won't. But here we have a power supply. Um, yeah. <laughs> and it's over there. We also have in the accessory kit find some packaging. Ooh, great! They gave me some copper cladboard. That's fantastic. Because uh, I definitely need some of that to get started. I have a little bit at the office, but this is great. It looks like, did they give me some single-sided and some double-sided? It says times three on it, but there's actually six in here. So this one is double-sided. Uh, you know, it's your standard sort of fiberglass uh, coated with copper. And it looks like there's maybe... Yeah, these guys are single-sided. Cool. Um, so, you know, you can make single or double layer PCBs. You can make stuff that's conductive on both sides or just one. They give me a red sticker. Beautiful. I love their... You can hear all about the, the name of the company and the logo and the cool backstory behind all of that in the interview with Danielle. So definitely check that out. Um, getting started projects kit. What? It even has like scotch tape. What the hey? Uh, oh, it's double sided tape. I go through so much of that stuff. Um, cool. And little, little router bits. Um, oh, they gave me a dog tag. There's a, uh, an engraved dog tag example project. So I guess, uh, that's what this is for. It's like red and black. Wow. And more cladboard. Oh, this is so good. Oh, I'm really excited. <laughs> I happen to have the weekend mostly free, so, uh... We might actually get some, some weekend videos this week because I've got a lot to work on. Um, this is the tool set. It includes an Allen wrench, fixed string screws, uh, collet wrenches, a pulley belt, uh, six of those. Um, collet and nut, alignment jig, bit fan. Bit fan? What's a bit fan? Oh, it's this thing. Oh. Or is it? That might be... No, that's a collet. I lied. <laughs> I'm curious about the bit fan. Oh, here we go. Okay, it's just a little fan. <laughs> uh, probing clip and bolt. One. Hmm. Cool. I guess this is probably the cl probing clip. But, uh, you know, as soon as I've got it set up, I'll try and update you on all that stuff. Looks like we have some extra stuff, another little bit fan, some uh, little filters, air filter type things, and uh, some strips of what's probably adhesive or like vinyl stickers or whatever, not sure. Um, and this guy, which is uh, probably, I don't know, <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this all back in here. Wow, guys, this is amazing, this is so cool. So spoiled. A million thanks to Bantam for lending this to us. I. I'm so stoked. You have no idea. <laughs> All right, so we got two or uh, one big piece of foam, sort of keeping the thing in there, okay? And uh, yeah, uh, this thing is not actually that heavy. So um, Danielle was carrying one of these things around New York to get to Adafruit. Uh, the other week, and she's a total badass. But also, it demonstrates that you know, you can just sort of carry it around. It's got these handles on it to make that easier. Um, yeah. Ho ho. Cool. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see. Let's clip that zip tie so I don't have to destroy this bag. 
Do, do, do. I'm so glad I can fit this in the office because it's going to be making some obnoxious noises. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I feel like it's my birthday. And it is going to have to go back. But, um, yeah, wow. Okay, so there's cardboard bits in there to, um, to hold the stuff in place during shipping. You can see those pieces. And all of the uh, plates and stuff are attached by magnets. So cool. Um, one interesting thing that Danielle said about this is that actually the most expensive part of the machine is the all of this PVC uh, outer piece uh, case is um, that's the most expensive part of creating this building one of these and because it has all these special little channels and stuff milled out of it so you know inside here you there's more of this in the in the interview there's like a close-up but inside of here all these little wires and stuff are sunk into custom milled channels in the plastic so it's uh, really really just a well sort of put together machine. You can tell that they've been at this for like a few years. This side opens up too. <laughs> cool. And then uh, in this special little channel in the top, there's two little wrenches and they also have little magnets holding them in place. And they're also in their own little special channel there. Check that out. Oh, so good. Too good. The back opens up. Um, okay, so I didn't yet see a like first time setup guide on the site, but I'm assuming that either that's because um, I just haven't found it yet, or it's just like ludicrously easy. Um, you know, these cardboard pieces look like they will just kind of pull out. Oh, I see little clips on there and stuff. Cool. I'm gonna pull out, pull it out of the plastic here. Neat. And again, like, it seems like it's pretty durable because, you know, um, uh, Daniel was, like, running around all over New York and, like, the office and stuff just, like, holding it. Uh, and that, you know, is very amazing to me. <laughs> but I still want to, like, treat it with care and respect. It says, warning hazardous moving parts. Keep fingers and other body parts away. Whether they're yours or other people's, respect the body parts and <clears throat> respect the mill. Okay, cool. So that is, uh, in the rest of the box, there's just like one other piece of foam. So uh, here we have our Bantam Tools visiting friend, and I can't wait to show you some stuff that we start making with it. Oh yeah! Thanks for watching and have an awesome rest of your Thursday. I'll probably be back later with a Throwback Thursday post. Uh, I want to try and remake our quarantine sign from back in the day, uh, basically an on-air sign. But I want it to be uh, internet connected, because that's kind of the point. And so what I think I'm going to do is build it with a Node MCU um, and UbiDots. We did an interview, a really quick interview with Gustavo, uh, or my bad, <laughs> not Gustavo, um, Agustin from uh, UbiDots on Monday. And you should totally check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Um, and I want to turn their demo project into a, uh, an on-air sign, and it's going to be awesome.